there's a lot going on in this country with regard to reopening. Uh, you see a number of states reopening, and it seems as if they're very clearly reopening too soon. In my state, for example, in Oregon, we're reopening as cases spike. Now, I think that the governor, Kate Brown, has handled it adequately up until this point, but you don't reopen as cases are going up. So, you know, what do we need? I, I think that there's this sense that we have to reopen as quickly as possible. And I get that because economically, people are suffering. You know, this is going to cause yeah. them real pain economically, putting aside like, you know, the health risk. But if you were in Congress, what would you do? What would be, you know, the thing that you'd fight for? I know this is a very loaded question, but how do we yes. reopen? And there's no perfect answer, but how do we reopen in a way to where we can kind of balance, you know, the economic risk but also make sure that we're protecting people and we're not putting people at risk. What would you do in, you know, as a legislator, as a lawmaker? So this is a really great question because I was asked this very early on in March, what we should do and what we should have done is we should have gone on a full three to four week shutdown. So imagine if you'd taken the $6,000 on every single man, woman and child and just given them the $6,000. With $6,000, you could easily get through an entire month with a full shutdown. And if we had done a proper full, full, full shutdown, including very minimal grocery store openings, meaning that you couldn't go into a grocery store, you had to pick up your basic groceries from you know, the front of the door, and you were limited to basic items, let's say, right? And if we, all of us came together and we went on a true shutdown for four weeks, we couldn't have we could have beaten this faster. So that would have been number one that I would have fought for. Number two, there are three things that we could have done to extremely cut down coronavirus very fast. One is all wear masks all the time, everywhere. And if we did this for a even a small period of time, and wearing masks is uncomfortable. I get it. And I understand that this is a freedom and liberty because I believe in having freedom and liberty. But if we all did it, we could have gotten over this much faster. If we all did it together for four weeks together, guess what? We, this would be down to nothing. So that's number two. Number three, if we had scaled up our testing to a point that if you absolutely had to work, if you had to be in a grocery store and you had to stock the shelves, that you were tested multiple times, that you had all the PPE that you needed, that would have worked. And then the last but not the least is contact tracing. If we had put in proper contact tracing, which is what they did in South Korea and some other countries, and they're doing it effectively, if we had done these four things together, given people the resources to survive for four weeks, wearing masks, if you have to absolutely you know, interact with other people, contact tracing and extensive testing, and we had all come together to do it for four weeks, guess what? we would be able to open up safely, cases would be down, and we would be back and our economy would be back much, much, much faster. So that's what I would have advocated for. And I would have done a no means test way of getting these funds to every single American. And for those of you out there who you know, bring up this argument, okay, if you're a billionaire, you don't need $6,000. The government could have just given this money and then a year later, two years later, on your taxes, if you were a billionaire, you could give back your $6,000, right? But the interesting thing is we could have done it much faster if we just gave everybody the resources they needed, come together, and got it done. And this is something that we as Americans should have done. We're the most technolo technologically advanced country in the entire world. We have some of the smartest brains in this country. I can't believe that we didn't come together and solve this faster and show how it was done when countries like New Zealand were able to do it. And people complain, oh, well, New Zealand only has, you know, 5 million people, but take the United States and let's divide it up into 5 million sections. We could have done this, guys. Yeah. And everything you say is exactly what I said in a conversation I had about COVID a couple of days ago, that if we all just kind of like hunkered down for a good few weeks, maybe a month, this would be over. We wouldn't be having this conversation. And it really seemed like I'm disappointed because at first it seemed like everyone was on board. This wasn't necessarily a partisan issue. But as time goes on, as people mm -hmm. get more desperate and frustrated, now we start to see the partisanization of COVID-19, which is what we kind of touched on earlier. You know, we, we see masks becoming less of a health issue and more of a political statement for some reason. And, you know, our government is just fully incapable of dealing with this. I mean, you bring up such a great point about the means testing thing. 
we don't want to means test everything to death because we want people to be able to access these things fast and quickly. We don't want people to know whether or not they will get it. We want everyone to know that they that they'll get it. And you know, it, it, the delivery of the stimulus has been a disaster. I actually didn't get mm -hmm. mine until like mid May. Um, had no idea how to get access to it. I didn't have help from my representative as well. So it, it's complicated and it doesn't have to be. I think we're, you know, government is overcomplicating it. And there's, you know, the combination of that along with the frustration from people. And like you said, it's it's not that difficult. You know, this is a pandemic. It's something that those of us alive today haven't experienced unless you were alive during the Spanish flu. You know, you'd be over 100. <laughs> but, you know, it's something new. But at the same time, you know, People, epidemiologists have studied this. There have been, you know, responses that they've crafted to this. So it's not like we weren't prepared, but still we weren't prepared. You know, it's like there's I, I just find a difficult time coming up with excuses. So to hear you say that in such, you know, a common sense way to lay out how easy it is, it's refreshing to see, which is why we have to elect you in the Congress.